this is uh, two crew dudes for the Sega Genesis. Uh, I actually get a lot of requests to do like let's plays and whatnot, and uh, eh, I figured uh, I would give it a shot with uh, a shorter game, one that I was already kind of familiar with. Uh, two crew dudes is an old favorite of mine. It's a loose sequel to Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja. I beat this game countless times. And there really isn't any other game out there like it. I mean, there's tons of beat em ups, but not uh, this post apocalyptic beat up that's actually fun. I think, uh, was it, there's a, uh, The Last Guardian or something? There's one where it is a post apocalyptic beat up, but it is kind of more like Fist of the North Star, where you're not really fighting mutants, you're just fighting like other big dudes. So, anyway, you're one of the two crew dudes, and you run around the ruins of New York and essentially pick up everything and throw it. Uh, you've been hired by the president to take out the evil, villainous Big Valley. The first mini-boss, Robert Ginty, as the Exterminator. Behold the wonderfully generic graffiti. Kiss, cyber, banana. This came out as Crude Buster in Japan, and there was an arcade version of this, but apparently it's super laggy. I actually watched somebody play it on YouTube, and graphically it was a little nicer but um, it looked almost unplayable. Love the Adam West Batman effects. Crack! Wham! I haven't played this in a while, so <laughs> I don't know how well I'm gonna do. I'm doing okay, but uh, I used to be able to kind of blow through this. All right, now this guy, you gotta get... Yeah, if you can get under here, and then... Yes, this is Jake the Snake Roberts. See, now his snake is coming after you, but as long as you stay here, you're fine. And flexing. The joys of 90s video games. I'm gonna drink soda to get my health back. I mean, I guess it makes about as much sense as finding a hamburger in a trash can. Now, the big thing with this why you want to keep throwing people is because when you throw them, it does more damage. Like, a lot more damage. Or, when you throw something at them, even better. In the arcade version, the background's filled with tornadoes. do a lot of character recycling. You fight the same mullet jumpsuit guys the entire game. Oh, these <laughs> stupid dogs. Between them and the little, um, the little weird mutant dwarf guys. Yeah, if they latch on to you. Well, <laughs> if the little mutant dwarf guys, if they latch on to you, they just kind of like scratch and claw at you. But if the dogs latch on to you, they bite your nipples. Alright, now this guy, if I get over here, and he's caught in a pattern. Ah, well, yeah, don't laugh at me. Yes, just keep throwing him. And he's done. Let's 
some health soda. Missed a golden opportunity to license that out to Jolt Cola or something. Yeah, those things, if you can grab them out of the air, you'll kill these guys, and, and that way they'll stop coming back. Now, there's a, a trick to this guy, where if you can sit on one of the lower steps, you can just keep hitting him, but I, I haven't had luck with that in the past, so I usually just stay up here. And he just comes up, and you throw him. But then if he does this, then you're kind of stuck waiting for him. Hadouken! 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 Maybe, uh, Sonic Boom! Do, do, do. I'm bad! And in the beginning cinematic, they show these dudes are apparently like nine feet tall or something. Because why the hell not? Your health's replenished, but now you have diabetes. And here come the crazies. Ah, see? Yeah, biting your nipples. I also like that, yeah, when you jump, see? It's got the peace symbol on the back there. Oh, Data East. Why do the dogs have saddles? Ah, crap. Missed both of them. Yeah, these guys, um, they climb on the walls and they like... <laughs> they drop nuclear poop on you. If you get, like, if they're climbing on the walls and you're underneath them at the time. There we go. Pick the car. Throw the dude. And I think this is... Oh, no more dogs. Crap. Try to hit them with this. I got some of them. Ah! Okay, now the, uh... This guy come... Ah, more dogs? Crap! Looks like he has red pit hair. Alright, now this guy comes out. Now he rips off his arm, and he's got a robot arm. He's thinking about getting metal legs. It's a risky operation, but it'll be worth it. Ah. There. Now, if I can just get rid of these guys, I can get my health back up. Ah, that's my own fault. Uh. 
Damn it. I really think that there was a lot of um, stuff that they left out of the game. Like, this doesn't make sense. There's a conveyor belt here that goes into a wall. Well, I should goes into a door. And it's the only conveyor belt in the entire game. <laughs> so, did they have some other thing planned. Alright, now this guy... I hate this guy. Ah! Ugh! See, this is why I hate him. You kind of have to jump and then throw him... Ugh. Oh wait, I'm forgetting. Alright, so you gotta jump. Put him over here. Throw him here. Throw him. Yeah. Over here. Throw him. Because otherwise, if you just pick him up and throw him, then uh, when he comes back and hits you, uh, he's still invincible. So then he does his little flip thing in the air, and that kills you a bunch of times. Yeah, the invincibility window on some of these guys is too long. But at least they let you replenish your health every level. And the obligatory snow level. Every, uh, every 8-bit and 16-bit game have at least one. Sometimes there was the raining level. Although I always loved the rain in uh, Link to the Past. That was one of the first, like, really awesome weather effects that I ever noticed. Alright, I think, yeah, I can just keep going. Ah, really? There we go. Please. Everybody chill. And more dogs. Ah! <laughs> right past them. Alright, so now here's where they start recycling the bosses. And making them... mini boss. Well, recycling the mini-bosses and then eventually recycling the bosses. Ah! <laughs> threw it the wrong way. Stretch Armstrong here. Ooh, am I gonna get him without having to him let his arm up? Ah! Sweet. Normally, uh, he'll throw his arm out, and um, as long as you're jumping, you're not taking damage. It's a tough trick. Usually makes him a little bit easier to kill. Ah, crap. Get out of here.
Ah, shit. Yeah, if you hit it too many times, it blows up, and then you lose all your cola. And it's time for... Psycho Santa. Now, I don't know why... <laughs> they made the evil Santa purple. But... Eh... Why not? Alright. Ah, the... Shit. Alright, the tanks, if I would have been able to hit them... With the garbage, that would have blown both of them up. But... I'm gonna have to do it this way. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Right now, <laughs> Nature Boy Ric Flair here. He turns into. <laughs> he's. I am the werewolf! There's a trick to him where. Yeah, if you come down here and then jump up there, and then you can just keep throwing him. That is, if you time it right and you don't completely suck like I do. There we go. Shit, no! Ugh. <sighs> So I need a lot of help this time. <laughs> but since that was the snow level, we are going to be heading into the ever-popular sewer level. Uh, can I make it? Come on, one more. Ah. All right. Oh, right. Okay, before the sewer level is the subway level. Well, the subway section that leads into the sewer level. Uh, flamers. And there's Ric Flair again. Although this time, he does not turn into a werewolf. Woo! Yeah, see what I mean? They just <laughs> keep recycling our enemies here. Although, let me uh, get that, and booyah. If I don't pull that thing out of the sky, they're going to keep... There we go. Keep raining enemies on me. Come on. There. Why is there a stoplight in the subway? And the flamethrower guy. Again. Uh, 
right, so down here. And this guy again, only he's slightly different this time. He still has his Lobot phase, where he just kind of jumps around. But then he transforms into kind of a combination C-3PO Terminator. And if I'm not careful, it's the C-3PO Nader that takes his head... Ugh! He'll take his head off and throw it. So you like that. And for the hell of it, you're gonna fight him again. Considering the year, you think they'd put some mutant turtles in the sewer. And same thing. Turns into the robot again. Throw him around. Ugh, done with that. Alright, now, yeah, these guys come out. By, like, the dozen. Usually if I stay over here and just kick them, they go away. Andre the Giant and company. And flamethrower guy, again. Come on, come down here. Go. And, oh yes, my favorite enemies once again. Yeah, I think if I can stay over here, there's a guy over there who's gonna throw bombs. And if I can stay over here, he won't throw them yet. So I can do this. And then, oh, there's two of them. And let me get some cola. And what would a mutant game, <laughs> what would a mutant post-apocalyptic game be without a giant post-apocalyptic mutant, namely Spider Thing? I guess he's Man Spider. <laughs> if you've been listening to me long enough, you don't have to know that uh, this terrified me when I was young. Actually, it's still slightly terrifying now. <laughs> Yeah, you have to, when he comes down, you punch him, and then, yeah, you get under his vomit. And he is the... <laughs> Steroided brother of Dr. Mittenhands. The Mitten Spider. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, all right, and last level starting off with a ah, goddamn tank. There we go.
Yes. Ah, shit. <laughs> Got a little excited there. Oh, yeah. You know. Oh, I hate these guys. They're really annoying. Well, I actually hate all the enemies in this. Ah. Yes. Let's see. If I can keep jumping. You can't hit me. Not with my cheese helmet. Alright, and this is yep, low bot again. Robot. And your popular elevator level. Well, <laughs> again, elevator section. Now this is fun. Sing them and throw them off. <laughs> I love that. Now I'd like to know the point of the elevator that goes up to a wall. Ah shit, now as a matter of, I gotta find the spot where I'm safe, which I think... Yep, I'm good. Oh. <laughs> Keep throwing these guys. Yay. Now, gotta go through all the bosses again. Same thing with four. Jump. Ah, shit. Jump. Chuck. Did. Now, now it's the man spider. Now, I know there's a. Yeah, see if I'm um, not getting close enough to him. Ah, shit. Now he doesn't do his. There we go. He doesn't uh, climb up like he does in the sewer. Oh, just die. Now this is the worst because I don't have the uh, I don't have the ledge to take advantage of, so he usually kills me. I can, I can keep time. Yeah. Ugh. See, it does that jump thing? That I don't think there's a way to fight against that. Oh, 
And... Oh, yes, he's dead. Good. Oh, and now... <laughs> this is the... Oh, no! You've killed my... mutant werewolf thing. Jeez. Looks like he was blowing him. Alright, now this guy has a ridiculous amount of health. Basically... You pick him up and you throw him. And he comes over and he beats on you. You pick him up and you throw him. And he comes over and he beats on you. You pick him up and you throw him. And you do this for several hundred years. I mean, the first time I did this, I'm like, I'm, is, is there a glitch? Am I doing this wrong? Because his health isn't going down. So, there we go. It finally goes down. So, you keep throwing him. Keep throwing him. My, my crude dude kind of looks like uh, the Boz from Stone Cold. This isn't even my final form! Alright, now he mutates, of course, into this... Ah! Alright, now there's a trick. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Yes, see, so basically, keep wailing at him. Yeah, I'm going to die. There we go. But it kind of prevents him... See, there's a thing where he'll he'll go up and he'll throw up baby mutant. Yeah, see, throws up baby mutant things on you. You want to avoid this because it's stupid. All right. Now, if I can, Ugh. Should have just stuck to stick to the plan. All right, there we go. I want to throw him at least once. Now, you kick him and you go through him. And you kick him and you go through him. And you kick him and you go through him. And you kick him and you go through him. There we go. See how much easier that was. And he's dead. And he mutates back into Professor Big Valley guy. Now, even though I fought through the whole game solo, there's the other crude dude. Why are you getting money? You didn't do anything. I did all the work. Freeloader. You said it, buddy. They put up a heck of a fight, but we finally stopped them. It's party time! Right on! Let's go get a Zima! So, after suffering the evil madness of Big Valley, New York was at last free, thanks to the two crude dudes. Leave it to them, the professionals. The two crude dudes. Go get them, boys! Their work isn't pretty, but somebody's gotta do it. They're too legit to quit. The end. Now, this was one of the games where it had absolutely no credits. It just ends. It's like, nah, the people that worked on this, they don't really care. Which is a shame, because it's a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, that was a playthrough of Two Crude Dudes. Uh, if you like it, eh, let me know. I'll do more. If not, whatever. See us.